on to it. Okay. The next version will. So you need something else to do wireless. Okay. He also took a whopping portable phone charger. Okay. So he has the portable phone charger, USB cable coming off that, splitting one to power this, one to power the Pi. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he put on their Arch Linux and then he put Open TTY. Open TTT? Open TTY. Open Transporter Tycoon. It's uh, basically an open implementation of uh, Transportation Tycoon, Transporter Tycoon. I don't know. Dude. I, I would, I'm the wrong person to ask. Give me one second. I, I, and he already did this, but he doesn't have the pie. Uh, well, he borrowed this one. Oh, he, oh I gotcha. I right. Gotcha. Okay. I'm sorry. This is open TTD. Open. Just said it. Transporter. It, it just said it. Uh, open transport ty, um, tycoon deluxe. Okay. And this is what he did. He made a wireless self-powered open TTD server that host on it all of the builds of the game for every version of Linux possible, all of the clients. So he can take it someplace, put it down, start playing. Somebody else say, I like that game. And he can say, well, just connect to this wireless thing and you can download it because he has a Samba server on there. Wait, I'm, lo- I'm lost. What, I know. What game? Trust for, me. What, what game, first of all? Uh, the game is called Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Okay. What is that? It's a very confusing, utterly advanced, like Sim City esque. Gotcha. Okay. But it's uh, the uh, not as much on the building of buildings, more on the building of highways, subways. Gotcha. Okay, I'm so, going to the site now. I didn't even look to see that. Okay. Um, and so, right. So he, he made a self-powered wireless server for this so he can take this drop this on a table anywhere connect with his computer to this to it and play open transport tycoon deluxe okay I, it trust me steve it utterly he had to explain it to me a couple times because <laughs> i didn't understand it either. i get it now i get it now but, but basically it's a multi it's a server with wireless no wires connected to it at all floating in the air to where he has web servers running on there, Samba servers running on there, this game server running on there, and like a couple other things. Wow. And it's a $25 device. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's really neat. This game looks yeah. crazy. It's like, it's SimCity expanded. Damn, exactly. Uh, very confusing. I'll say that. It's very deep. It he looks said very it, deep. He said if you have uh, OCD at all, you might want to stay away from the game <laughs> because it will suck your time away horrendously. I got you. Okay. Then he said he downloaded the Quake 3 binaries. Okay. Quake 3 binaries specifically geared for this device. There's a league associated with it. This is first person shooter. Okay. You cannot join the league unless you have a Raspberry Pi, which means everybody in that league who are fighting are on completely equal hardware. Right. I love that idea. Yeah, me too. So he did that too. He said it was pretty cool. He loaded a couple desktops. He loaded this. He loaded that. And it worked. And it worked. He's, he said no issues. Um, the only thing he was trying to find was an older version of the KDE desktop because he knows it's lighter. Da, 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 da. Okay, rock on, man. Have fun. <laughs> um, and there is any, um going to be in the notes a link to an eBay auctioneer selling a case, which I'm going to see if I can pull off this, this example is already sold but he has more so i will let everybody out there know this guy is gunning for the prize he's gunning for the prize you guys put in your email because i told him there's going to be competition so i told him he better step up he needs to send me something cool yeah what he's what what he's done with it has nothing no relevance on the winner i got gotcha. you and what's wrong with this link for the uh, the pie cases? You don't like them? Uh, no, no. It's already completed, sold, finished, gotcha. done. 
I don't like them anyway. They, I don't like the rounded edges that protrude. I want it to be more squarish. Gotcha. And and I'll say, Russ wants to know if he can rent one. He'll pay money. Is it? He he just dinged me on Google Talk. Russ, if you're that needy, all you got to do is talk to me, man. I'll 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 be happy to send it to you for two weeks. You're a good man. It's nice of you. Well, Russ is a good guy. You know, I gotta support. Uh, the techie geek. If I don't, there's obviously something wrong with me. <laughs> That's all I'll say. I got gotcha. you. I okay, th- yeah. I threw something in the notes there too. You tell me when you want to take that up. I have to take that right now because honestly, I'm almost ashamed that I didn't put it in there. Just before, okay. yeah. Honestly, people, you're not hearing me and Steve shovel stuff at you because we are making. Say it again because you okay. we lost. That you. is say it again. We lost. Oh. We never shovel things at you guys for the purpose of making money. You do not hear us shovel things that we don't like, use, respect, and believe in. Okay. Some other people say that, but then they put a sales pitch on like they're in a, like they're on a, a radio or a cheap TV show. Right. This is not that. Okay. What this is, this is a new product from Lalo. If you don't know Lalo, Podnuts Pro. He's the host. He's the host. He has an utterly good way of comprehending advanced, but it, but explaining in basic. Okay. I truly think of that as being as one of the great signs of IQ intelligence. You know, how easily can you make the layman comprehend something advanced? And that's what I think one of his biggest talents is. Okay. His better PC tech to me kind of proved that. His first product, yeah. which I, I honestly bought, I used. I went to my nine to five. I used more than a couple of his tips, and it made me look good. Nice. I don't. I work for the state, so it really didn't help me that good because I work for the state. <laughs> but if I was in private business, I think it would have helped. You would have got a raise. Yeah. Now I'm not getting a raise unless I guess like 13 people die and I get a promotion. But I digress, which I also got from Lalo. Touche. Okay. Touche. I am, I'm not going to lie, I am buying this for two people in the next about two months. Their birthdays are coming up. What are you buying them? Okay. I'm buying them knowledge, and I'm buying them a, basically a hand-holding teacher for their Windows operating system. I know the people here who use Linux, this isn't for you. Because if you use Linux, you probably already understand a lot of basic things. But we all have family members, friends, or friends of friends or family members of family members, or maybe new in-laws, I don't know, that ask us the most basic, repetitive questions about how do I burn a DVD? How do I rip a CD? How do I download this video? How do I do that? And no matter how we explain it to them, they're not going to get it because we speak over their heads. Okay. Or you just don't want to deal with it. (laughs) Well, I didn't want to say that. (laughs) Um, So I'll say if you go to... Um, learn to use my PC.com. 100% money back guarantee. I don't know how you can get that, but it's 100% money back guarantee. Cheap. Okay. Cheap. And you get it and a, and you can get it on a DVD. So you can ship it to them. You don't even have to go to their house. They don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about them using a computer to access this because you know that's going to come to questions as, as well. Yeah, last I heard, I think they every every purchase is a DVD. That's what I thought. I didn't want and to it's it's basically a DVD for people who need to learn how to use a PC. And there's surprisingly a lot of people. And uh, Lalo put together several hours of video just dedicated to that. I like this because um, I would I could have used this so many times in the past where if some I just don't want to I don't feel like explaining something, either that or I've had customers come into my shop a lot when I had a computer repair shop asking if I give courses on how to use computers. And right. I always said no because I really just didn't really want to do it. But um, I, I told Lala, the best, way, the best thing to do with these is com- uh, computer repair business owners, sell them like a bulk, five, ten of them. The computer repair business just puts them on their freaking counter at 
the front Dude. of their shop. There is no doubt in my mind. You buy like 10 of them, put them in your counter. They're not going to last. Yeah. Now, this does have to do with Linux because we are geeks. We know how to use computers. Most of the people around us don't. So that's how this is relevant. Plus, Lalo's a cool dude. He's he's um, a host of Podnuts Pro. He's part of the Podnuts family, and I want to support him. So yeah, go to the site. Check him out. Um, contact him if you want to buy in bulk. If you have a shop, sell them to your customers. I think they'll sell pretty damn good. Yeah, I agree. And if you have questions, he's very open to questions. Yeah. Again, 100% money back guarantee. If you go to that page, learn to use my PC.com on the bottom. There's a direct email link. Here's the thing. Honestly, if Lalo asked me to punch an old woman in the face, I think I would because he's Lalo. <laughs> There's not a lot of people. I will say that. Okay. There, there, there really truly isn't. Uh, but funny. honestly, he is one of the coolest guys. I want to support him because I know he makes no junk. Everything he makes is good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's OCD I don't know, but whatever he does, whatever he has, he's good at it. Oh, he, I, I know what it is. He spent a lot of time. He worked his ass off for these videos. I, I remember I, last couple of weeks I've been calling him. He's like, I can't do anything. I got to work on this. I got to work on this. I got to get this done. So uh, he's been working really hard on it. Um, another reason to go to the site is there's a cute chick on the front of the page. On the home well, page I, I would expect nothing less from my <laughs> bro, Chacho. All right, well... Again, learn to use my PC.com. Check it out if you need to uh, school somebody on how to use a computer. Yeah, and to be honest, this probably isn't for your eight-year-old nephew. This might be for your 70-year-old mother-in-law. Yeah, just... exactly. And we all now are getting one of them, it seems like. <laughs> okay, and, and, and you know, Clark Kent, if you're out there, you know, your mother-in-law might need a little bit of help. Hook her up. Sweet. Okay, I got this story. I was afraid to announce here because this is definitely the gateway to advanced Linux. This isn't desktop Linux. This isn't. I want to know how to burn a DVD. This isn't. You know, I want to know how to change my desktop. This is the doorway, dare I say, to really hardcore comprehension understanding of Linux. And this is called the um, Debian Ad Debian Ad Administrator's Handbook. Okay. This is now completely free and open. Uh, I believe in the past it cost a small fee, very small fee, like six, eight bucks. Now you can either read the book online or you can buy the book. Uh, I believe it actually was available on, I want to say Lulu. Yeah. On uh, Lulu, you can buy the paperback if you want. If you want something truly physical and professional, it is $48. It is well over 400 pages. This is not your kitty book. This is deep, Steve. Yeah. That's all I got to say. I'm looking at it now. I'm seeing if it will confuse me. Oh. Wow. It, oh, my God. The uh, I looked at the uh, table of contents. It scrolls down like 9 million feet. Mm -hmm. And that's just the table of contents. <laughs> wow. I know. It's cool. To be to be honest, this is, I think, what the Linux Basics Saturday morning lug is going to use as their reference because one of their goals is to become proficient enough at Linux to where you can get a real job paying you, know, you money for using Linux and admining Linux. So this is a fr is a free book? Yeah, completely. But if you want the hardcover, it's 44 bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Free. Now, oh, wow. Of, of course, if you want, you can download the book and you can take it to your own guy and say, print me a copy. Mm -hmm. Because that is the license. This is free. Neat. You know. Yeah. I will get right on this. I'll have it read by next week. Good luck. And I'll talk to you in about a month. <laughs> um... And I will say, I did download it. I use it as more of a reference. You know, I look at something, something ain't working. I look at the log and it says DBus. Uh, okay. Open up the guide, search DBus. And then I do some reading. So, and if you want it, it is at uh, Debian handbook.info. Awesome. Good yeah, stuff. that's one. That's one to just keep in the bookmark list. I would. 
it's too late now because if I would have known about this, I would have asked for this hardcover for my birthday, not because I'm a reader, because we.